Hey guys, Antonio here with another chapter on Tony Robbins' The Unshakable, Your Financial Freedom Playbook. Today we're going to be talking about chapter two, winter is coming, but when? Before we start today's chapter, guys, please click the subscribe button down low, follow along with more content. This way you can get this every single day to your subscription box and you never have to read a book again. Let's start. Compound interest, right? You probably heard the term before. What exactly is it? It will add more to your money over time than anything else. You need to take advantage of compound interest because all that does is it adds more and more money and your money compounds on top of it, compounds on top of that, compounds on top of that, compounds on top of that. And now your money that may, your, your for initial investment, let's say it was thousand dollars, you're making 10% on it, right? Let's do some math here. We got thousand dollars. 10% of $1,000, you multiply it by 0.1, that equals $100. So after one year, you're gonna have $1,100. Now on the second year, if you're still making 10%, now you're making money off of the $1,000 you originally put in, plus the $100 that you put in on, that you made from just having it there. So when you multiply this by 0.1, that equals $110. So now you have $1,210. Now your $100 you made last year made you 10 extra dollars by doing absolutely nothing but holding the money there. What do you end up usually doing with your money? Spending it on useless things that you don't actually need. Take that 10% of your income, save it, and take advantage of the compound interest. That's a key point here. So you're never actually going to really earn your way to financial freedom. Most people won't. Okay, you need to be a big CEO and retire with a lot, a lot of money early and have someone still running the business and getting money from you that way. That is a very, very hard thing to do. Most people aren't going to be the next Jeff Bezos, not going to be the next Steve Jobs, not going to be the next whoever you want. Eric Schmidt, doesn't matter. Um, and you're not going to get financial freedom by working. What you're going to do is, is you're going to set aside some of your income, take advantage of investing and compound interest. What did I tell you in The Richest Man in Babylon? If you go back a couple months to that playlist I did over there, guys, all that book was saying was taking 10% of your income, invest it, take advantage of compound interest. Let your children of your children keep growing. What does that mean? The money that your money makes, have that make more money for you. So. Now that you understand how you can take advantage of compound interest, let's take a couple of other things into consideration. A couple terms you might not know. There's a market correction. What is that? If there's been a fall of a 10% in a year. Now, that happens on average every single year for 54 days on average, okay? So there's gonna be a time period every single year almost since 1900, I believe it was, that there has been a market correction that where the market corrected 10%, 54 days, okay? There's 365 days in a year, 364, depending on what year it is, okay? 54 days is a very small time period for it to drop. But the rest of the time, that means it's not down 10%. It could be down 1%, it could be up 50%. You don't have no idea. But you need to be in the market to take advantage of that. Now, recession, on the other hand, that happens when the market falls 20% in a year. 80% of the corrections, right, when it falls 10%, end up becoming recessions. Only, sorry, other way around. Only 20% of them become recessions. That's one in five. And a recession happens on typically on average once every three to five years. And they last for 30 to 20. 30 days, sorry, 30 days to two years long. But over the long term, the market goes up. So for these short periods of time, what ends up happening is, is people pull all their money out because they're afraid that the market's never gonna come back up. But if you look at history, then you know it will come back up. It's only come back up always. It has never not come back up. It has always been so much higher than it was there. At, at way back when. So, you know winter is coming, but when, right? No one can ever determine 
when winter's coming accurately all the time. By winter, they mean a recession, okay? So you need to just be in the market at all times, take advantage of compound interest, stay in there, hold tight when things go bad, and never pull out your money. Stay in there, never pull out, okay guys? And the best opportunities, keep in mind, is when the market is down. When the price is lower, you can buy more of something than you could when the price is higher. And when it bumps back up, your money multiplies, okay? So take advantage of that. Most people are gonna pull out at that point in time. You put your money in, have faith, okay? Guys, hope you enjoyed today's video on when winter is coming, recession-wise. Please leave me a thumbs up down low. Please subscribe. As always, guys, remember that a chapter day allows for success to make way. Stay tuned for the next one. Have a great day.